Hello and welcome to this tutorial series. In this series we're going to be covering how to make a Minecraft style inventory system. In the system we're going to be able to have a backpack, chest, a uh, hotbar, we're going to be able to pick up items from the ground, we're going to have them stack, we're going to have different max stack sizes. We're also going to be able to split stacks, combine stacks and drag and drop stuff out of the inventory. The way this tutorial system is going to work is it's split into seven parts. There's eight videos in total because I've got like a part 5.5 which will come out midweek um, on that week and that's a code review so at that point in the project I'm just going to go through all of the code and kind of refresh ourselves what all of the code's doing. So there's eight videos but seven parts. Each video is going to come out here on YouTube weekly but the full series is recorded and it's available over on patreon.com forward slash danpos so if you want early access you can support me over on Patreon and you'll get the full series right now and at the end of each episode I've exported the scripts for like as they were at the end of that episode and again if you support over on Patreon you'll get access to the scripts as well as early access a link for that is in the description below. If at any point you get kind of confused or lost, or you want a bit more information, uh, leave a comment under that video or join the Discord server, which again is linked in the description below. And even me or someone else in the community will be able to help you hopefully solve the issue that you're having. Some things that this series isn't going to cover is just to set expectations, is there's no saving and loading of the imagery. That's almost like a save load system is almost its own of this series. And there are lots of tutorials out there that would allow you to do that. But if this series is well received and there's a lot of support, um, I, w I am thinking of doing an expansion sort of video series to this to show you how to make a save and load system and save our inventories. Some of the things I might do in the future with this course is I, I wouldn't mind to do like a shop inventory system so where you can sell and buy items. But again, that's not included in this video. It's a big time commitment to make series like this where they're all done kind of in advance. So I didn't want to go too far into a complex system. People not like the series. So if you do and you want to support these videos, make sure you share and like them and comment. And if they're positively received, then I will do an expansion. So save load NPCs. But let's just jump into the project I'll show you exactly what we are going to have by the end of this course. Okay so you can see that we've got our um, tomatoes here on the ground and we can pick them up and they can stack. By holding down the shift key we can split a stack so we can take two off that stack and halve it. You can see that we can now combine stacks so I can press the two and put it on the three they become five. If I split them again so the maximum stack of these tomatoes is five. If I try and combine the three with the three it'll fill one stack up to its maximum and it'll leave one stack on it on the mouse which I can then place back down. We can also come up here and we can get these potatoes. These don't um, stack at all, they've got a max stack size of one so they just uh, you know go into the next available slot. You can see our hotbar is full now. If I press B and bring up our backpack when we start to walk over stuff now it'll go into our backpack so I can pick up these other potatoes and these other tomatoes so they're all, it's all of the tomatoes. Oh no, there's two more here. So if I pick up these, so this stack is now full and this spare one went into our backpack. I can come over to these chests here and open the chest and you've got our chest panel here. And this is the large chest. We've also got the small chest and this fills out dynamically. These panels don't have any slots in them and it responds dynamically to the inventory system that you pass into it. And then of course I can move stuff out of my backpack over into the chest. I can take out the ones from my hotbar and place them in the chest. I can come over here and open this chest, place in some potatoes and press escape and walk away from them and go back, open up the chest and we've got our chest, the stuff that we stored in our chest here. So I can take them back out, take these potatoes out. I can even split this stack, place it in here, put the other part of the stack into this chest. I can open up this chest, take these back out and then combine them back into this chest. So they all Kind of link in you can move stuff through dynamically the way these work is it's not drag and drop it's you can click once on a slot and then it follows the mouse around and then we can click to place it back in a slot so this is where we're going to be at the end of episode seven and each uh, episode is going to cover a different topic so parts one and two are going to be about creating and finishing the back end sort of code system part three we're going to create the ui part four will be about interacting with the ui and be able to click on different slots part five we're going to be splitting and combining the stacks Part 5.5, which will come out midweek, is a code review. 
just to go over and make sure that we're all on the same page with the code. Part six is gonna be creating the chests and then part seven will be creating the player backpack system. So with all that said, I hope you enjoy the series. Episode one is up now on YouTube. As I said, the full course is already available over on Patreon. And going forward here on YouTube, episode two will release in a week and then episode three a week after that, etc. So make sure you subscribe to see them as they go up. And in the meantime, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.